Me and Brittany have been together for 12 or 13 years. Uh, we share our son together, and um, I, I love Brittany to death. I'd do anything in the world for her. The relationship changed whenever I caught Brittany uh, sending uh, a mutual friend of ours naked pictures, which caught me by surprise. Um, I, I'd never expected anything like that of her, and, and that led to me making decisions that didn't put our family first, and uh, made me start thinking, hey, if she didn't love me you know, enough to uh, not send people naked pictures, uh, then I didn't uh, feel like I needed to put as much effort into having a relationship with her. So, so I began to move differently and do different things that I wouldn't normally have done. Uh, I started messaging other uh, women, uh, which made things worse. Uh, Brittany caught me with a secret phone that I had uh, hidden in my truck. Now she's accusing me every every step of the way. It's you know, anytime I've got a phone in my hand, uh, it's what are you doing or you know who are you messaging, and it's just fight after fight after fight. I, I know that I'm gonna have to text other women at some point in my life, and I just feel like she goes way overboard. If there's a, a number that pops up on my phone that I don't even know, she instantly blocks them. But at the same time, I've, ne I've never slept with any of these women. Um, I've never received any naked pictures from these women. And she also thinks that I'm giving them money, uh, which has never happened. When she found the phone uh, in my truck, um, she, she, she flipped out and she uh, burned her wedding dress that, that she was, that, she, that I know that she loved. Um, after she burned that wedding dress, I knew that she was serious about you know, leaving. It's tough at home. Um, every day it's, uh, it's fighting and it's arguing. Brittany needs to know that, that, I, that I truly love her and that I do want this to work out and I care about our family and uh, that uh, I just want what we used to have back and before all this, all the back and forth revenge stuff uh, started. I have um, reasons to believe that he's been cheating on me like because I've caught him multiple times messaging other women um, and asking them for pictures and stuff so I'm not sure if he's actually cheated on me, like had sexual intercourse with someone, but um, the the stuff that I have found is just, you know, leading me to believe that he's, you know, been cheating on me. To how me, that's have, cheating. How, how long have you been together? We've been together for uh, about 12 years. Oh, 12 years. Yes. Uh, yeah, so you've been together. Well, a and, long time. Why, and you're not married yet, right? No, uh, 12 yeah. years together, not married, that's a long time. Yeah, and that, I mean, I've, I've asked him, we've talked about it and stuff, but we just never, got to that point yet. Yeah. Now, did you send naked photos of yourself to this mutual friend he's talking about? Um, I did, um, but this was before, you know, all this happened. Um, you know, I admit that, you know, he knows that. Um, what, why, you were together though with him? Yes. Why did you send naked photos to the other guy? Um, I had done it because you know, he, he was constantly like watching porn and stuff. Like, and I, I'm like, why, you know, if you have a girlfriend, why do you feel the need to do that? And um, it was just a constant thing, and it was bothering me, and I just felt like I was not being, you know, wanted. And you sent totally naked pictures. It was just topless, one topless, oh, topless. photo, yeah. Uh, but why to a guy that he knows? Yeah, I, I don't know. It was yeah, just like a... Because, like, now he sees the guy, he's like, hey, you want to see your girl's uh, boobs? Yeah, and, and I, I know mean, it wasn't know. right, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was about to And you didn't do anything more with the guy? No, yeah. yeah. Or I didn't, you know, make it out like I wanted anything to do with him. It was just... It was kind of like a... Well, what, what would a guy think? If you sent me a exact, picture yeah. with your boobs, what am I supposed to think? Yeah, I mean, I understand that. I yeah. think like she wants to sleep with me. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you ended up burning your wedding dress? Yes. Why'd you do that? Um, Because this last time that I Where did you burn it? In the front yard. <laughs> in the front yard. Yeah. And you poured like gasoline, gasoline on it? Gasoline on it, yeah. And you lit it on mm -hmm. fire. Why did you do that? Because like I just, my, I was devastated this last time that... I had found the phone and everything, um, and who he had been messaging. It was, you know, uh, a family member of his. Uh, a, a family, family member of his? Is a family member of his. It was a, someone a that I A female used, yes. with some of his family Yes, member. and um, I was just like. So you were pissed? Yes. But uh, wedding shows has got to be expensive, right? Uh, yeah. I saved up for it myself because, you so know. That, I don't get people destroying their own property. Yeah, Why it was hard that? for me to do it, but I was Last story, like, woman stole her wedding ring out the window. Yeah. You're burning your wedding dress. I just wanted to get it a point across to him that, I, you know, I was like. Did he, was he there witnessing the fire? Yes. <laughs> Did you get some s'mores or anything? <laughs> <laughs> like he was being like weird about me going around his vehicle. And um, I was like, you know, that's weird. I was like, let me just look in here a little bit. and. When I got to around the seat behind it, I was kind of like lifting it up to look behind it. He started acting like really weird. And it was just like, you know, 
trying to avoid it. And then yeah. I was like, well, hold on, let me look. And, you know, I'm trying to look, and he, he pretty much just was like, no. And there's no way and I knew to explain was a back secret there. phone. Yeah, and then he locks the truck. Yeah, if you uh, have a secret phone, you're up to no good. Yeah, and so I was like, definitely, there's something in there. And he's, he's like, no, there's not. And just, he locked it, he wouldn't let me in it. And um, so I was like, please. I was like, if there's nothing in there, then just let me see. And he's like, no, no. And, uh, and you know, and I cried to him. I was like, please, you know. And I was just really upset about it. And I knew something was back there. And then so a little bit of time goes by later that night and he falls asleep. Well, he's got the keys in his pocket, you know, so I'm like, well, oh, you know, definitely. Well, he goes to sleep and then You're I'm, digging in his pocket. I'm thinking of how can I get in that truck? <laughs> And I've done told him, like, I'll bust out the window if I have to. And he's like, you better not, and, you know. And um, so I remember seeing people with a coat hanger, you know, like, getting in the, like, yeah. people that locked their keys out. Yeah. Well, his window was cracked just a little bit on one well, that's side. That's all you need. And I I'm, got the hanger, and I tried to get it together. I twisted two together, and I put it in there, and somehow I got it unlocked. And I was like, thank God. Well, I get in there, and I look behind that seat, and I find that phone. Yeah. And what would you find out on the phone? where he had been messaging that other person, oh, and I was just devastated. You ever cheat on him? No. no. I mean, unless you call the picture thing, which to that, me, that's well, cheating. That is I mean, wrong, but I'm saying you never had no. intercourse with anybody never. in the whole 12 years you've never. been together. Mm -hmm. Brittany, this can't keep going on, man. I mean, this, this has gone way too far. I mean, there's been mistakes made on both parts, and... and I can't keep doing this if, if, if it's going to be this way every day. Yeah. Well, me too. <laughs> We've got to figure it out. Um, it seems like there's a lot of distrust in the relationship. There right? is. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm just curious. 12 years together, right? Mm -hmm. And you got away with not marrying her all this time, <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. How do you manage that? Yeah. Um, Most women, only, like, after a year or two, they're like, hey, <laughs> get off the pot. Right. Um, well, I was, I was just honest with her um, about our relationship, and I told her that um, I wasn't, wasn't ready for a marriage uh, with the way our relationship had been going at the time. But you've been together 12 years. Yeah. Uh, is it all bad, 12 no, years? No, no, it's not all bad. I mean, um, and you got a kid. Yeah. So I'm guessing, you know, like after year three, mm -hmm. why didn't you get married? Um, I just didn't feel like... Um, ready? I didn't feel that... Like I didn't Even feel our after, relationship was strong enough to, to marry After her. year three? Yes. What about year six? <laughs> um, Doubled the time now. Maybe, but just no, no, no I didn't. Still, <laughs> even at year six? No. What about year nine? Apparently not. <laughs> so, my point is, if you keep feeling this way yeah. after years and years and years, why didn't you say, I'm going to find somebody that I, I do feel like I can marry? Yeah. I asked another female person for uh, feet picks. For, for feet picks? He has picks. a foot pick. I have a foot pick. Feet? Yes. <laughs> you didn't want to see her boobs or her butt or? Not interested. He has you a are... foot fetish. I have a foot fetish. <laughs> what do you like about feet? Um, oh, God. I don't know. That's just uh, my you're thing. A, you're a feet guy. That's, that's my thing. Yeah. Does he do anything with your feet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he used to love my feet, but now he don't even look at them. He doesn't. Rub my feet or anything. He does a, I, I can't even get him to look at a picture of me. Like okay, I, I sucked on her toes last he, night. So. <laughs> but he's asking all these other women for photos. Do you think she's fooled around on you? I don't know because um, we've got this issue in our relationship where she wants revenge for something I've done or she thinks I've done, and so she she'll she'll tell me that she's going to do something and sometimes does it or threatens it, and so I don't know. It's got to a point where I don't know what's... Did what's... she ever say, hey, I'm going to go sleep with that guy? Yeah, she has. She, she, she oh, said you have? That. I have, yeah. because... And you, he does the revenge thing, too, uh, uh, which maybe that's the problem. Maybe yeah, we should... Yeah. We have talked that we don't need to do that anymore, but um, I feel like, you know, like, how would you feel if I did that, the stuff that he's been doing, which, you know, I did in the picture. You don't know if he did, though. Yeah, but um, I just feel like, you know... How would you feel if, if I was, you know, continued to keep doing those things? Like, you just make me feel like you don't want to, like, I'm not good enough or, you know. Just... Do you two love each other? I love her with I all love, my heart. And I you love really him. do? Yes. Got a weird way to show it. Yeah. yeah. I, I just don't get it. But you don't trust her 12 years waiting. She wants to get married. You, you, you don't trust all these years. And you're staying together. And, 
you know, I secret do. phones and topless pics. I it doesn't sound like a really good relationship. Right. I mean, it's not the worst relationship. I mean, there's obviously, you know, ones that you're like, yeah, this is a serious relationship. You got a kid together, you've been together a long time, but you do things to undermine yourself. Uh, and that part I don't get. Yeah. I mean, how, I do you, how, do you do, how do you fix it? These results. I mean, these results are what's going to make a difference for me. I mean, change. We got to change. So yeah. the results are going to come, and what happens after the results? If she passed, what happens? You start trusting her? Oh, absolutely. I'd love to marry her. Hey, do you think that guy showed the picture of her to other guys? <laughs> no, because I instantly deleted it. Oh, you <laughs> deleted it. I was going to say that, but I wasn't oh, sure. Oh, you forgot to tell me that. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I didn't. But did you go in his trash and then delete it too? Uh, no, I didn't do all that. Well, see, then you're. From, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're, you're kind of screwed there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay uh, one last question before I read the results. When her wedding dress was going up in flames, what were you thinking? I was pissed that my leaf blower was getting uh, burned oh. too. <laughs> she burned your leaf blower? On accident. I couldn't yeah. find any gas in the she can. Took the gas oh, out. so you were so blowing it. So I took the leaf blower and, and poured the gas out of it. She poured the gas out of the leaf blower onto, onto the wedding dress, which then caught my leaf it's blower It's the only on gas I could find. <laughs> Jeez. He was more worried about the leaf what, blower. What state do you guys live in? North Carolina. Oh, nice. So well, you got plenty of land. You yeah. Know, you didn't burn a forest down. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Okay. Since being in a relationship with Jacob, have you engaged in any physical, sexual acts or contact with any other men? You answered no. Since being in a relationship with Jacob, have you engaged in sexual intercourse with any other men? You answered no. Results came back the same to each of those two questions, and it came back that Brittany told the truth. <laughs> That's a pretty awkward hug. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. Two ever meet? Yeah, about 12 years ago. Yeah. Uh, Jacob, you took a lot of time to fast. Mm -hmm. Since being in a relationship with Brittany, have you engaged in any physical, <laughs> sexual acts, or contact with any other woman? He answered no. Since being in a relationship with Brittany, have you engaged in sexual intercourse with any other women? He answered no. The results came back the same to each of those two questions, and it came back that Jacob told the truth. Really? <laughs> told you. <laughs> Listen, will you do me a favor? Yeah. Will you go back to the green room mm -hmm. and let our cameras get you sucking on our toes? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I want you to call me back in a few months, and I want, I want to know if you get married, okay. all right? Because 12 years, like I'm saying, you got a, you got a little boy, yeah. you know, he wants his mom and dad to be married, not, oh, they're together, right? right? And she wants to be married. You yeah. string her along for 12 years. I want to know if you get okay. married. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.